Okay, let's talk about contact lenses. Hi, my name is Antonio, I'm an optometrist. Teaching people how to use contact lenses properly is literally my job. When you see enough people try contact lenses for the first time, you can pick up mistakes that they commonly make. So, today we'll be learning the proper way of how to insert and remove contact lenses without making those careless errors. Let's begin. Step 1. Wash your hands. If you don't wash your hands before handling contact lenses, small particles such as dust, sand and oils on your fingers can stick onto the contact, making it uncomfortable when you're wearing them. To avoid this, rinse your hands thoroughly, removing any dirt from your hands and especially your fingers. Step 2. The taco test. Scoop the lens out of the solution and lay it down onto your index finger. Try using the same sided hand as the eye you're about to put the lens into. So for example, we're going to be doing the right eye first, so we will use our right index finger. Position the lens at eye level and inspect the lens. There are two different ways your contacts can be positioned. The correct way should be for it to resemble a bowl shape, where the lens points upwards. The incorrect way would be for it to resemble a taco, where the lens either folds inwards or the lens points outwards. If you find that your contact lenses look more like a taco rather than a bowl, then all you have to do is flip the lens inside out. If you're a beginner, then spotting these differences are going to be very difficult. But luckily, in 99 cases out of 100, the lens will be positioned in the bowl formation straight out of the packaging. Once we have inspected the lens, it's time to insert the lens into the eyeball. Step 3. Insertion. Contact lenses are usually about 14mm in diameter, which means that for the lens to comfortably land on the eyeball, we will need to expand our eyelids wider than the lens itself. Otherwise, the eyelids can block the entrance. Contact lenses generally extend ever so slightly beyond the diameter of our iris, which is the coloured part of your eye. So, when you stretch your eyes to insert the lens, if you can see the sclera completely circling the iris, then you know you have your eyes wide enough. The best way to open your eyelids is by using the monkey grip technique, which is when you dry your fingers, except for the finger you're holding your lens of course, reach over the head with the opposite hand lifting the eyelid up. Slowly approaching the lens closer to your eyes and using one of your other fingers, you want to pull down on the lower eyelid, creating an opening for the lens to enter through. Here are some very common mistakes beginners make. When opening up the eyelids, beginners do it too far from the eyelash margin. Look at the difference in how wide I can get my eyelids from just opening them up from the eyelash margin rather than from further away. The more surface area you create during this process, the easier it will be for you to insert the lens. When the lens approaches the eye, most people panic by either closing their eyes stronger than what they can keep open, looking away to avoid looking at the lens, or immediately jump as soon as they feel the lens touching the eye. To be fair, these are all instinctive movements, so you can't fault yourself for doing them, but it's important to stay focused and calm during this process. If you fail to stick the lens on the eye and somehow the lens falls on the ground or dries out from being in the air for too long, either use a different lens or give the lens a good rinse in its own solution to wash away any dust. Slowly move the lens closer to your eyes so that your eyes don't panic. Aim centrally and in the case where you can't open your eyelids wide enough, insert the lens in an angle and tuck it underneath the eyelid and wait for the rest of the lens to stick on for a good fit. Once the lens places itself on the eye, it will suck onto its surface due to the surface tension of water. If you can stay calm despite the weird sensation you feel on your cornea, you will have a much better experience while doing the contact lens insertion. If you can, swirl the lens on your eye and you will almost always get a good fit. And there you have it, you have now successfully and calmly inserted your contacts in your eye. But you can't call yourself a contact lens wearer unless you know how to take them out. In most cases, I find patients find removal to be much easier than the insertion, so it should be a piece of cake from here. Step 4. Removal. 
The aim of the removal process is to dislodge the lens away from the eye and pinch it out using the soft part of your fingers, not your fingernails. One thing to remember is that every time you blink, the lens is designed to lodge itself back onto the cornea. And so after blinking, you may need to pull the lens down again before attempting to pinch it off. You will again need to physically slide your finger over the cornea. And having a contact lens on the eye makes it almost impossible to scratch your actual eye, so you can be a little bit more ambitious when dislodging the lens. Once the lens sits lower, you want to slide your two fingers onto the ridge that the white and the pink part of your eyes make. The common mistake here is that patients don't pinch the lens. They don't get close enough and end up pinching the air above the lens. If you're using daily disposable lenses, you can store used lenses in a bag and recycle them along with the blister packaging it came from. If you're using reusable lenses, be diligent and store them in solution while not wearing them. The more comfortable you feel at touching your own eye and staying calm, the easier the process will become. Be responsible with contact lenses by not sleeping in them and replacing them when you should. If this tutorial helped you putting contact lenses in, then feel free to hit like, I may do more tutorials in the future. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.